Thank you, Joe. All right, next up we have Les Thompson from the Colorado Springs Area Labor Council. I don't know what he's going to talk about. He refuses to tell me. <laughs> exactly what you told me to say. <laughs> Thank you all for coming out today. So uh, let's see, talk about the history of May Day, Scratch. Talk about the PRO Act, Scratch. Uh, no, uh, I'm the president of the Colorado Springs Area Labor Council. Uh, the Labor Council is a coalition of about 34 local unions in the Colorado Springs area. Uh, I'm brand new uh, and our mission is to grow the Labor Council and to grow union membership in Colorado Springs. Uh, you heard Joe talk about uh, the union density, that, you know, about 8%, and it's actually about 11% of all workers belong to a union. At the height of union membership, that was 33%, and that was back in the 1940s, uh, just after the National Labor Relations Act had passed. Uh, over the past 80 years, uh, the National Labor Relations Act has been eroded, rights taken away, uh, workers' rights and ability to do stuff has been restricted. And the PRO Act will go a long way in repealing a lot of that and giving workers a right to organize on the job. Uh, right now, in the Colorado State Senate, there is a bill for agriculture workers. Uh, workers that work on farms, uh, that pick our food, that grow our food, uh, do not have the same rights and protections as people that work downtown or people that work in manufacturing. They don't have minimum wage protection. They don't have overtime protection. Uh, they don't have the ability to form a union. Uh, but uh, I would ask you to call your senator, your state senator today, and ask them to support the agriculture bill. And that's Senate Bill 21-087. Um, you know, like I said, I, I'm not going to talk about the history of May Day. John's already filled you in on that. Uh, but what we are going to talk about is the future of May Day. You know, the, the history is a good thing to know, but it's time for us to start writing our own future. Uh, that That's where our real power lies. Uh, you know, I'm a labor history guy. Uh, there's a lot of people that sacrificed a lot to give us what we have. And for the last 40 years, we've been sitting on what we have, and it's time to take that back. It's time to start moving working people forward. You know, minimum wage, even if we raise minimum wage, guess what? It's still minimum wage. It's still not going to be enough. Uh, you know, for decades, they say raising minimum wage is going to raise the cost. Well, you know what? Cost has already gone, gone up. Wages haven't kept up. Uh, and so it's time for us as just working class people to stand together and start standing up for each other. Start redefining the way we work. Uh, you know, uh, John mentioned the eight hour day. We, we still don't have an eight hour work day. We've got a 40 hour work week. That's when overtime kicks in. It's, they can still work you 10, 12 hours a day and not pay you overtime until you hit that 40 hour mark. Uh, so, it, you know, really we need to start pushing to reduce the hours of work. We should have a six hour day or a four hour day. Yeah. We, we have lives to live and we should be able to go and enjoy that. Um, and as I wrap up, I do have the camera here. If you have a worker story to tell about workplace safety, about workplace violence, uh, or a union organizing drive that you were involved in where the employer opposed you, uh, catch me on the side, uh, I would like to record your, your story and use that in the future. Uh, we have stories to tell. Uh, the deal is, is we got to tell the stories. Um, so you heard, you know, history's made not just by talking about it, it's by taking action. And today we're going to take a little bit of action. So I ask everybody that has your cell phone with you right now, pull that out. We're going to make a phone call. Phone thing there. We're going to dial 
This is the, the capital switchboard. You're going to ask for Senator Hickenlooper. Uh, they're going to patch you through, and, and once you're patched through, he's not going to answer it. There's nobody there today. But just leave a message for Senator Hickenlooper saying, thank you for your support on the PRO Act. We just want you to know that we're watching. We would also like you to support ending the filibuster. And then don't forget when you get home this afternoon, uh, pull out your Google machine, look up your state senator, and call them and ask them to support the agriculture bill, Senate Bill 21-087. Thank you.